Hello everyone. Good day. Once again, welcome to Tech Bams Solutions and Channel. My name is Bamidele Ajamu. Today, uh, we'll be looking at how to calculate trailing 12 months using DAS function. As you can see on my screen, what I've just done is I have my year and I have months, sev just several months within my year so i want to calculate my trailing 12 month a trailing 12 month is the financial performance of a company where you look at 12 months 12 consecutive month backward of a company so basically uh, i will just show you what i have really what i have is just a total sales so i have my total sales currently on the screen total sales is just the sum of um, my sales which is I'm using them to pass store and data set so i need to calculate my trailing 12 months so how do we go into this let's get started so i just need to have my new measure so from new measure i want to say ttm 12 trailing 12 months equals to so what we do is we just have to use our calculate function then it's asking of the expression just bring up your total sales as your expression now from here we want to look at the date the date and there is a function time intelligence function in das that is called dates in period dates in period which really look at the start date and the number of intervals of this so we'll be using this function date in period then i have a calendar date so i have a calendar date calendar date so all i just need to do is to choose my date in my calendar date so that will mean that i have a calendar date here then i can have a comma so when is my start date my start date will be the max 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 of my calendar date max of my calendar date so is my start date then the next option here next option here is to look at what is the number of intervals this is where we want to specify that it is 12 month interval it is 30 days interval so since this is a trailing 12 months so we have to have a negative 12 as our 12 month interval then uh, we specify its month so it's on a monthly basis because if you're looking at the uh, trailing 12 months then i can as well close this so i think that should be fine i can just um, click enter so with that i have my trailing 12 months so what i want to do is let me pull the total yeah we have a total sales here and i can just convert this i had this two to my table so that will give me yeah you can as you can see there is a um cumulative summation from january 2020 2014 there is a cumulative summation i should just change this format is to pounds since the rest are in pounds already so let me reduce let me reduce this with control minus minus so i have that reduced already so i have now my total sales my trailing um 12 months so what i want to do now is to have a chart i want to have a chart control c control v and i can control c control v i can just I've duplicated that and what I will need to do now is to remove let me remove the sales I will want to remove my total sales and leave it at trailing 12 months so I have my trailing 12 months now I can just try to change the chart change the chart to say a line chart yeah so I have this already I have this already so what I want to do is to bring up year as a filter so let's say we have a year let's change this to a filter and um, where this is a microsoft new so 
um, update i can just go to format here and look at the slicer setting and probably change it to a drop down a drop down so i will drop down now i can just drag this up a bit let's drag this up and then filter this by say 2014 2015 so we tend to see how the changes you can see that there are changes on the 12, 12, trading 12 month of the individual um, data set that we have so and that is um, how you can calculate your trailing 12 months which is a cumulative summation of the past 12 months data so kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not